if you've already settled on uh, KDE Plasma as your desktop, the next big decision is choosing the right distro to run it on. And for most people, that choice usually comes down to Kubuntu or Fedora KDE Plasma. At first, they look almost the same. Same Plasma layout, same widgets, same customization. But once you actually start using them, the differences become subtle yet surprisingly important. Kubuntu is built on top of Ubuntu, which means it inherits Ubuntu's massive community, rock-solid stability, and really friendly APT package manager. You get a huge software library right out of the box, plus Snap support built-in, which means you can install pretty much any app you want, including proprietary ones. And the Kubuntu tends to give you a clean, untouched KDE Plasma experience, fast, polished, and usually with the, the dark theme enabled by default. It ships with useful apps like LibreOffice, Firefox, Thunderbird, Elisa, Haruna, and more. And because it uses Ubuntu's hardware enablement kernel, newer laptops and devices work better right from the start. You also get Ubuntu's predictable release schedule, two updates every year, 0 0.04 and 0 0.10, along with seamless upgrades that rarely break anything. So if you're someone who wants stability, reliability, and a, a massive ecosystem behind you, Kubuntu makes that experience feel effortless. Fedora KDE Plasma, though, goes in a slightly different direction. It's built on Fedora, so you get the DNF package manager, stronger security thanks to S-E-L-I-N-U-X, and a more modern-looking KDE setup right out of the box, like the floating panel and cleaner default styling. Fedora leans heavily toward Flatpak instead of Snap, which is great for sandboxing and keeping apps up to date, though you do have to manually enable Flathub inside Discover before you can install most Flatpak apps. Performance is uh, one area where Fedora really stands out. KDE Plasma on Fedora feels snappier, more responsive, and just a bit more optimized, especially on powerful or modern hardware. But of course, there are trade-offs. Seeing some apps require COPR repositories, updates sometimes demand a reboot, even when it's not a kernel update. And the overall system feels slightly more geared toward users who already know their way around Linux. Uh, Fedora also tends to ship newer software more quickly. But interestingly, in this comparison, Kubuntu actually had the newer LibreOffice version, while both had the same version of Firefox. So which one should you go for? Honestly, both distros ship with KDE Plasma 6.5 Plus. Both are reliable and both deliver a great KDE experience. But the choice comes down to the kind of user you are. If you're new to Linux, want something stable, easy to maintain, full of software and backed by a huge community, then Kubuntu is absolutely the smarter pick. However, if you've used Linux before and want a bit more speed, tighter security, flat pack first support, and a modern feel right out of the box, Fedora KDE Plasma will probably feel more exciting and more powerful. No matter which one you choose, you're getting one of the smoothest, most customizable desktop experiences available on Linux today.